Mr. Speaker, I rise today to express my outrage. Gaza has been decimated by the Israeli military using weapons provided by the United States. Over 39,000 Palestinians, mostly women and children, have been killed and more are being killed every day. Most homes, most infrastructure destroyed. And yet what do we do? We welcome Netanyahu, the person responsible for this address, uh, for this to address Congress with open arms. As a student of history and as a black woman in this country, I'm keenly aware of the role that this very body has played in the marginalizing of black and brown folks domestically and abroad. This is why I refuse to remain silent. When Putin commits war crimes, we condemn him. When Netanyahu commits war crimes, we give him excuses and bombs. This hypocrisy is not lost on the world. Americans are less safe and our standing in the world is greatly diminished because of our inability to remain morally consistent. Years from now, this body will be ashamed of its actions. The large majority of our constituents are ashamed today. It's well past time that we stop this moral inconsistency and start working towards a just and lasting peace for all in this region.